Using enzymes as catalysts and reactions can reduce the amount of energy needed for the reaction and reduce toxic byproducts. However, the use of enzymes in industry is limited because enzymes are not stable and can be expensive. This protocol could reduce the amount of time that it takes to determine if conditions are deleterious to enzyme activity or if modifications to the enzyme have increased its stability. The main advantage of this technique is that it requires fewer man hours than traditional enzyme stability assays. Additionally, this protocol can be used with a wide range of enzymes because it can be used with any reaction that releases or absorbs heat. To begin, prepare 0.1 molar sodium acetate buffer. Measure 800 milliliters of distilled water in a 1000 milliliter graduated beaker. Then, weigh 8.2 grams of anhydrous sodium acetate and add it to the beaker. Place the beaker on a stir plate. Place a stir rod into the beaker and turn on the stir plate to stir until completely dissolved. When the anhydrous sodium acetate is completely dissolved, use a calibrated pH meter to measure the pH of the solution. Use a pipette to add one molar hydrochloric acid or sodium hydroxide accordingly to obtain the desired pH at 4.6. Add distilled water into the beaker until the total volume reaches 1000 milliliters. To prepare the enzyme solution, in a 15 milliliter graduated cylinder, measure 8 milliliters of the 0.1 molar sodium acetate buffer. Then, Add the buffer solution into a 15 milliliter conical tube with enzyme and shake.